Hey everyone, welcome to Metal Guns and Outdoors. Today we're going to be looking at a Charter Arms Target Bulldog at 44 Special. Uh, this is one from the gun store. Uh, it is a used firearm. This thing's very, very light. Uh, it's in really good shape. Locks up really tight. Nice adjustable rear sight on it. Uh, this one's four. But I haven't got a chance to shoot it yet. We just now got some bullets. I wanted to get it out here and see what we thought about it. I grabbed some PMC Bronze 44 Smith & Wesson Special 180 grains jacketed hollow point. Alright, let's see what we got here. I wonder what the recoil on this thing's going to be since it's so light. Yeah, that ain't no wimpy shell, is it? Far out. Let's put her ears on. Uh, she got a Piper target there. Uh, that, we'll shoot at that top one. As you see where all the other little shots were to the left in the last 22, but we should be able to see a difference with these, of course. I can't remember ever shooting a 44 Special. Shot a 44 Magnum back in the day, though big Smiths and uh, llamas and such as that. Of course, they were a lot bigger and a lot heavier. But this thing is light as a feather. Well, maybe it won't rip her hand off. Here we go. Put some on paper and see if I can even hit with it. Hello. thing about it, I am consistent. Well, even though they were low and shade to the left sometimes, uh, you can't beat that grouping, that's for sure. Uh, the sight seemed to be pretty much on. I think the uh, non-precision shoot is just me. First time I ever shot this revolver. Shoot us a little bit of steel with this thing. Uh, this this is just a good shooter. Now that recoil is just not really enough to even worry about. Yeah, not that bad at all. Take a look at our new targets. thing I have to say, I'm standing there and that light hits, I hope y'all can see it, see the way the sights are on that thing, a little hard for me to pick up, but it's all good, we're going to put five more of them. This is actually an enjoyable to shoot, the recoil doesn't bother my hand none at all, of course it does have some uh, nice grips on it. They got just enough texture where I feel comfortable and they do meet in the back. It's not a real mushy rubber but it feels good to your hand. Right, let's put five more through it. Uh, gotta see if we can get that out. 44 should make a pretty good thing. Good day. Try to stretch out there. Do the green one with the X on it. And the 
one. I believe we're connected with both of them. Trigger on this thing is outstanding. It's uh, very light. You actually got a watch. Yeah, it's a fun little revolver to shoot. I wish I'd have bought a 50 box instead of a small box. But a uh, Charter Arms, Stanford, Connecticut. Target Bulldog 44 Special. I'm not sure the age of this revolver, but I mean, it does look good. It can't be too old because. Like I say, it's uh, some type of alloy. It's not an all steel because it's just, I mean, the thing is just light as a feather. But as far as the shooter goes, good shooter, fun to shoot. Well, if that one don't sell, definitely gonna have to see if I can come up with some more ammo and get that back out here for some fun shoots, no doubt. Guys, I hope you liked the 44 Special. Oh, Charter Arms was fun to shoot. Didn't kick as much as I thought it would. And uh, as far as accuracy, got a real good group in there, and I'm really happy with that. So, not too bad at all. Well, y'all, thanks very much for viewing the video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you leave me some comments, suggestions, and questions. Very much appreciate it. And if you're able, hit us up on our Patreon page. And if you would, please hit that like and subscribe button. Thank y'all, and have a fantastic day.